Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And as I mentioned in my video yesterday, we have a lot of earnings calls coming up. So I wanted to kick things off with AT&T. So AT&T added a total of 3.8 million total wireless subs. Those came from connected devices and smartphones. And then 1 million of those gains came from Mexico. Now, one thing that is a concern to me, and I think it should also be a concern to AT&T, they lost 658,000 video subs in just one quarter. And a big amount of customers came from the DirecTV Now. So AT&T lost 14% of their DirecTV Now customer base. That equals 297,000 customers left that service to either go to another phone carrier or get another provider such as YouTube TV, Hulu Live, Sling TV, and et cetera, and other services in that space. So either AT&T's value is not that great on DirecTV now, or the services aren't up to par with what's out there. So to me, I think this is a big concern for AT&T. They're also losing 200 plus thousand customers for wireless. Their churn is the highest it's been since 2015. Now on the money side, they're still making profits, uh, lots, lots of profits. They're still a big company, but these losses to me are a concern. You lose 700,000 video subs in one quarter. I think it's time to start getting back to the board and really be concerned on uh, what you're doing wrong to the customer and why the customer is leaving. Now, AT&T seems focused on their key priorities in 2019, grow the Time Warner business, media still you know they're concerned about first net which they should be they're rolling it out at a fast pace uh, using band 14 they added 458,000 first net additions so that's working for them but for the video subs and the wireless customers that they're losing there's something happening maybe it's the value proposition which i think is pretty good they offer a pretty good value for the plan you're getting maybe it's time for a price cut I don't know, you know, maybe maybe they just need to really start from scratch and get back to the drawing board and try to provide something like the Uncarrier did with T-Mobile because they're losing customers at a very high rate every quarter. It's not just this quarter, it's been quarter three, quarter two, they're losing customers. They're also gaining, but the losses that they're taking, in my opinion, are quite a bit high. So I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Do you think at and is in trouble? Is it time to start panicking yet? Or do you think they'll be fine? So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all social media. Also, there's a big update coming from the merger between Sprint and T-Mobile. Breaking news came out about 30 minutes ago. They're planning something big. So stay tuned for that video. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.